Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hello, friends, and welcome to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for artisanal Bible study that's responsibly sourced. This week we've been looking at Psalm 102, and today we come to the last three verses of the first section, 12 through 14. I think what we could do is, we could probably say, just sum up the last nine verses like this. Verses 3 through 5, the psalmist has been, he was consumed in those verses. 6 through 8, he was alone. 9 through 11, his days are declining. And then we come to 12, 13, and 14, and the Lord enters the picture. We've not seen the Lord since the opening statement in verses 1 and 2. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let my cry come unto thee. Hide not thy face from me. So he's, he addresses the Lord in the first part, verses 1 and 2. Now in 12 through 14, we come back to the Lord again. But thou, O Lord, shall endure forever. So he's put in contrast himself with the Lord. Remember, he is consumed, he's alone, he's declining. Now he says, Lord, you'll endure forever. Because at the end of 11, remember, he said, my days are like a shadow. So I'm just going to wither away like grass, which is here for a moment and then it's gone. Now he says, Lord, you are not like that. The Lord is markedly different than we are. He is eternal. We are temporary. His life never ends. It never began. He is timeless. We are bound by time. We suffer. He does not. All of these things are playing into now what's being said in 12, 13, and 14. Thou, O Lord, shall endure forever and thy remembrance unto all generations. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yea, the time is set, it is come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. So the Lord is returning to do something. He's going to have mercy on Zion. You see, the Lord always has mercy as an option. He is a God of judgment, but he's also a God of mercy. Don't ever forget, you know, that that statement there in the first part of the psalm we just did it a couple weeks back the lord judges let the people tremble the lord sits between the cherubims let the earth quake shows both the justice and judgment and mercy of god they both exist at the same time and now we have the psalmist crying out to god for mercy he says you will arise and have mercy for the time to favor her yea the set time is come so there's a appointed time for mercy to take place. And boy, that is so true. There is an appointed time for mercy to come. And it could be that the appointed time for mercy to come for you is today. If you would call on the Lord Jesus today and just ask the Father to save your soul in Jesus' name. You know he'll do that and show you mercy. He'll give you great mercy and he won't assign you to judgment. No, but the set time for your mercy will come even today. Today is the day of salvation, the Bible tells us. Now is the accepted time. So if there's a set time for mercy to be demonstrated to Zion, then surely there's a set time for mercy to be demonstrated to you. The time to favor her, yea, the set time has come. For thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof. Zion had been destroyed. It had been laid waste. It had been burned to a crisp. Just like our psalmist, when he said there in the first part of this psalm, My days are consumed like smoke. My bones are burned as an earth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass. You see, that is, that's Zion's story as well. Zion really is a picture. That is, Jerusalem is a picture of the believing heart. Under the judgment of God, it's smicken and sm it is stricken and smitten. <laughs> I'll get it right. But under the mercy of God, it is restored. Even though it is nothing but dust and stones, it's going to be restored. He will come again and restore all things. And it doesn't matter, even if it's decayed and gone, 
the Lord will bring it all right back. Because he made it, he can restore it. I hope you'll join me again next week as we take up the second half of Psalm 102 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.